side on the driver's side um, because they were, well, they were pretty shot and he looked horrible from underneath um, so they were done and it's been fantastic it looks great the other side solid but it's just a bit scabby underneath uh, what I will do is I'll show you again the areas that could do with being done could do with being done yeah do with being done um, but I might as well just do the whole lot now I know full well on the passenger side underneath the wing uh, there's a plate that, because I did it in 2004 that's going to be taken out because of the inner sill, or well, basically, say the inner sill, it's actually the outer sill, it's the front section. Um, and there's a bit of the back which is probably that bottom section there, which is a bit scabby. I just don't want it looking horrible underneath anymore. So, I'm going to always work with obviously the back axle and the upgrades. I might as well make it look a little bit better underneath. And yeah, I'm thinking of redoing the exhaust as well, and obviously the clutch does need doing whether that can actually get done. Who knows? Um, so, obviously, what I need to do is I need to strip the car a bit more. So the driver's wing has got to cut. Passenger, sorry, passenger wing has got to come off, um, which means obviously headlight and everything disconnected. We'll take the wheel off, and I'm going to take the door off as well. And we'll have to take the seat out, and I will weld a. Um, I've got some one-inch box. I weld the one-inch box to the inside just to obviously keep a bit of rigidity while I start cutting. I might not be able to do all of it on the lift who knows um, the reason is is because um, the leg might get in the way so I might have to lower it down at one point put her on axle stands and then raise her up once I've done that piece I might have to get it mostly stitched in so the bit where the legs are in the way I might have to uh, change might have to do it with axle stands now um, the back leg should be alright but what I will do in the meantime as well so in the meantime while I'm here is I'm going to strengthen up the rear spring hanger or front spring hanger areas uh, just make the seam weld them in because they're only spot welded so I'll clean both sides up and the seam weld all the way around them. Uh, so yeah, this video is going to be multiple part because of how much work there is to do. So this would be, if you include the back axis, is part two, is it? I don't know. Anyway, grab a coffee, sit back and enjoy. Right, first thing you need to do is take the door off. Uh, which is going to mean taking the door capping off. Obviously the seat's going to come out anyway, um, this rear arch is going to have to come off, I do need to repair this anyway, um, well not repair it, the tyre's been rubbing slightly, um, so yeah, and it's easy to take this off and then get the, the actual wing off as well, so right, this is, looks like it's a series of flathead and posi drives. Alexa, volume one. Right. The door is off. Easy as that. So now, when it focuses, it's time to undo the wing. Um, I believe I, uh, there's two underneath, and there's I think one up here. Sure, there's one. So the wing, which in theory, just pull off. And she's off. So she's off. Um, tell you what, I can't believe the red oxide's held up. That's that's mad. I thought that would have uh, would have all gone, but I, she has she has got some issues. Um, namely, the, it looks like the bottom of the door. I don't remember that. Um, so I'm doubtful whether I did it needs repairing. Well, the bottom of the A pillar, uh, which is fine because the sill has to be cut anyway. So that's fine. And obviously all of that's going to need to be sorted because I bet, let's put these down, but if I get a uh, screwdriver and give it a tappy tappy, yeah, 
it's just where all the water accumulates. Yeah. So that that's gonna result. It's already been repaired once there. Um, that's not me because I tend to seam weld everything. Um, and I know down here was repaired by me a long, 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 long time ago. Um, this was done when I was probably in my early 20s. It was when I was in my early 20s, and it looks like I'd run out of gas. Um, yeah. So, all of this is going to need doing. I think what I might do is use the lift legs to raise the car up a bit more. Um, because I can then get in there if I put the those legs higher up. So we might have to put it on axle stands just to get it so it goes up and I can screw them up a bit more and it might help get in there, you see. Yes. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll just gather a bit of a prod with a screwdriver. Yeah, it's uh, still there. So where I previously said this, I could save it in the mounting structure for the splash guard. Um, I think I'll just cut it all off in one piece. Um, yeah. Now, uh, this bit's gone, which I know you can buy, so that's not a problem, because I've got a sneaking suspicion. I bet under here, it's also rotted, because it seems to be lifting. Um, it seems all right, actually. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So, I think I'm about to order some more bits. Um, we don't have to worry about sill, hopefully that can go, um, the inner sill and the castle rail, that's not a problem. What we do have to uh, order is obviously this structural piece, I presume it is, um, in fact you know it is, it is, it's obviously part of the inner wing setup, uh, and then it's whatever we can do with this bit. And to be honest, he is not great. It's been it's been repaired before. Um, well, I can the camera's currently on charge while it's uh, while it's on while it's recording. So if I try and use the screwdriver. So as you can see, there's a hole there, there's a hole there, and there's a hole all the way up there. So. Um, it might be worth me just buying the the footwell as well. Footwell as well. Uh, to be honest, at this rate, I might as well just replace the whole inner wing section because you can buy all of this as one complete piece. Uh, I'm not going to do that though uh, because I like my sanity and the rest of it is all right. I know that because I had to weld up this area, which could do being done again. Um, only because I've put extra plates in and I should do it in one piece unless I get a repair panel. I've just had a bit of a prod with the old screwdriver. There is obviously a big hole here. The hole there, there's a hole there, hole there, and obviously there's an all manner of plates here. So it needs doing. I would have to worry about the sill and the inner sill and the casserole. Got all those. This I'm not going to really go to save, isn't just pointless considering how cheap they are. There's another one that goes here. Again, I might as well just buy one. It needs a new splash guard. This section, which is obviously the stay for the inner sill, uh, inner sill, inner wing, um, the support structure, that's going to be replacing as well. Um, but part of the footwell, or the back to the footwell, is part of the footwell, I guess. Um, that's gone now. It's a nice edge, really. Now, I believe you can either buy a repair section or you can buy the whole piece. Now, it's actually gone across the straight bit, but it might be worth just buying the repair panel. At least then it's done. Um, obviously, the bottom of the door or the bottom of the A-post, as I said before, that really needs some work. Um... But again, that's it, it. It's no massive issue, really. Uh, so we'll possibly we'll just. I think you could probably buy that piece anyway. So there'll be some internet ordering. Um, but what I do need to do next is get the seat out. So obviously that's the end of this video, and I shall see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.